everyone. I am Sayyidul Islam. I am uh, doing PhD in Computer Science Department. So a lot many people uh, usually go for jobs right after Computer Science because you get really good jobs. So there is one option. But also there are a lot many people who go for higher studies. So be it in by uh, giving gate to going to ISC or I IITs for MTech or mostly people go for uh, MS abroad. To keep it simple, I'm going to divide with this thing into the parts that we are doing in our department. So we have six labs. I'm going to reduce all of these labs because the, each of these labs work in a very specific area. Okay, so one of those labs is Adapt Lab where I work, where we work on data mining and parallel computing. So data mining means you have got a lot of data, big data like you are saying, if people are posting on Facebook, they are uh, taking pictures and they are buying online. So you can get a lot of information from there. So how do you process that thing? Then so it's a very new field. A uh, lot of opportunities are there for data scientists in the industry. Uh, in research as well as in uh, in as well as in industry, and then there is parallel computing where uh, let's say you have got quad core system in a machine. So how you make your program run on all the quad cores? Uh, let's say you have got 50 machines in your IPC. So can you make your program run? Use all those 50 machines to do something for you. So there is a whole high performance computing field there. We also work on that. Then another lab in our department is uh, Software Defined Networks Lab, SDL Lab, where uh, this it is also a very new field just coming up, where you where you change from your typical networks where you can control the flow of data from the network. Ki, uh, let's say in the bits you want to regulate, ki my YouTube bandwidth will be means YouTube will be always access to very high speed compared to some X Y Z other website. So you can configure your whole network in such a way that your YouTube is always get access, it always get maximum bandwidth and so. So it has a lot many applications in data centers and real world tuning. So a very new field and we have got a nice lab in this department of SDN. People have started working on it. You can do that. Then we have uh, web intelligence and information retrieval wrap where uh, to, so for information retrieval, it's just like the simplest term you do text info, uh, text uh, retrieval like in Google search. You give a query, you get an answer. But can you do it on images or can you do it in videos? Can you give a 30 second video and search all the videos relevant to it? Or can you do what Google image search does today? So these kind of work people are doing in our lab, uh, in the lab, one of the lab in the department. Then there is text mining where you give uh, 10,000 reviews of a particular item, let's say Nikon camera, and you get to know ki, wow, how people feel about it, what are the different features people talk about it, and the computer does all of these things automatically. Then there is a robotics lab, and uh, where uh, people are working to make robots which can talk to each other, we, which can take decisions to uh, each other, and behave in an intelligent way. So there is that, then there is variable computing and networking lab where uh, people are working on different technologies which we can, uh, which different devices which you can wear on your body and they will help you do something. For example, a driver can wear it and it will automate, it will alarm when he's feeling sleepy or his uh, alcohol level is too high or the system detects he is going to be in an accident or something like that. And. Uh, so then there is uh, uh, another work going on where uh, like you have just seen dri uh, cars, uh, driver li driverless cars coming up. So uh, vehicular uh, network, uh, work is going on in vehicular network also where each uh, vehicle have its own local network. When you go on highway, each vehicle as soon as come, start coming in contact, they start talking to each other, they start passing uh, important information and uh, making some collective decisions. And then uh, there is multimedia and human computer interaction lab where people are working on augmented reality. For example, you must have seen the uh, many videos in uh, uh, this Avengers where uh, there are a holographic images, all holographic projection is projected over something else. For example, you can learn by looking at a video, looking at augmented reality video 
to let's say repair a car or so uh, do a heart surgery so applications are endless there so uh, these are the different labs of depart uh, our department uh, so means you have enough research uh, different research areas going on the department that you can work on in your second third year and till your fifth year to know about these things but apart from that uh, i want to give you some generic advice from computer science point of view that uh, first of all competitive coding or more importantly uh, coding is very much required your coding skills would be very much required it would be just like you want to you want to be sportsman so you need to know running It means it's different whether you play cricket or you play basketball or whatever you play running will be a crucial thing it would be just like you uh, so coding would be required whatever you do in computer science whether you go to research or whether you go to industry okay whether you are a very good uh, whether you are a uh, competitive coder you working uh, competing competing on national level or not that is a different thing but you should be able to express what you think okay uh, just to elaborate a little more about what i meant by competitive programming so what happens is ki in programming or uh, you get a real world problem okay ki for example uh, you want to find the shortest path between from here to bangalore and you have lot many options ki you can go by flight you can by trek train and then you have different considerations so you build a algorithm ki what you can do so in programming means solving a real world pro- problem modeling it into computer science problem using some data structures using some algorithm and solving it okay so it is just like maths ki uh, you first you model your problem in mathematics then you try to solve it so the more you practice the better you get at it the basic fundamentals are very few means it's just a linear algebra or it's a trigonometry or it's basic calculus but by combination of them you can su- uh, do so many things so exactly competitive programming is like this only ki you first learn the basics of programming what are basic data structures what are different basic kinds of algorithms and as you keep doing do, uh, as you keep on solving these kinds of problems you get to learn more and more things so your uh, perspective your uh, thought process keeps get widening uh, widen and widen okay so uh, here we have very nice culture you can find a lot many your seniors who are really good at it means at india level at national level and even abroad uh, international level Uh, so and there are a lot many side like code chef is pod and hacker rank uh, so many of them so you can start with any one of them start taking problems first you start the simplest problem learn what was the new thing in it then try to solve the next problem you don't need to learn the answer for each problem rather key what is strategy you took so as you keep on going solving more and more problem you will keep on getting better and better in expressing your uh, thoughts in solving a new kind of problem by using some technique that you did earlier okay so as i said earlier it's exactly like math the more you practice the better you will get it okay so yeah so it you should start as soon as possible